Pop-up is a new mobility concept. It's multimodal. It combines ground with the air. It allows passengers a seamless and faster way getting from A to B using the city sky. It's a partnership between the airspace and the automotive sector. Two powerful sectors that come together to develop new technology, new concepts for uh, the future of smart cities. I think right now the urban sky is quite um, underutilized and that's exactly the proposition. Um, the uh, the grid-like uh, layout of road um, doesn't actually do it for us. We think that by combining air and ground we will get a much better uh, use of the space that we have uh, in our cities. This is unique for Airbus to go to a car show. Um, but we are intrigued by the way the automotive sector brings concepts much earlier to the public. Um, and what we're learning from that is that the engagement with the community, with the public, with the whole sector um, around new ideas will help us learn and modify our design um, so that we get uh, something that would actually um, be perfect in the end. Being at the Geneva Car Show is a unique opportunity for Airbus to reach out to the whole car sector uh, to discuss and develop new urban mobility solutions to solve some of those big problems of urban congestions in megacities that's just growing every day. Etal Design is a pioneer in new mobility concept. They're a reference point for the automotive sector and they are bringing novel designs, concepts um, to the sector to um, innovate, to provide new ideas. We partner with them um, to uh, bring the two sectors together, automotive and airspace, and the pop-up concept is exactly that. It's also a broader reach out to the whole automotive sector, which we see uh, coming closer to us um, in the development for urban air mobility vehicles. Um, the vehicles are going to be small, just like, um, just like the automotive sector is more used to, and, but at the same time they need to be safe and reliable and fly, uh, which is what we are used to designing and building and developing. To make this really happen, it's very important that the system is modular. Because only if the system is modular, in this case when it can decouple from the air module for an example, or the ground module, it makes sure that we can always find the optimal solution. And very important that the capsula is always the same so that the passenger and our customer, so to speak, is always in the same environment and feeling well and doesn't have to hassle with the change of the traffic system. And to make this really happen, it's also very important that we have an artificial intelligence powered electronic backbone that makes all these changes in a feasible way happen. So we want to make sure that this is a very positive experience for the customer and not one where he has to jump from uh, traffic system A to traffic system B, has to use various different booking platforms. We deliver it all in one platform that is really taking care of the customer and all this has the target that the customer really can take back his time because we think that he can use the time during commute in a better way. So forever he would like to do might it be relaxing, learning or being embedded into his community but there are for sure better ways than simply be locked behind the steering wheel and that's our target with this project. Well, we think that both companies believe really in finding the best solutions for people in, in future mega cities or in generally in transport. So uh, Airbus is doing this on their way, in their field, and we are doing it on our ground-bounded transportation, so trains and automobiles. So when we combine these skills um, into a research partnership, what it is, then we find very dedicated people on both sides. And uh, we wanted to make sure that we take down the boundaries between these uh, different specialities and find the best solution for future megacities. And with this idea, we came up with a concept that combines the best of both worlds. And uh, we see also that both companies have the target to really improve the life of people in the mega cities and not just of a chosen few one but uh, of a lots of people because otherwise we cannot really attack the traffic problems that are going to be there and already are there in some mega cities like Sao Paulo or Mexico City or in Shanghai.